And now, Drew Hinesley with News Channel 12 Sports. Two big storylines in Havelock tonight when the Rams hosted South Central. First was the battle for second place in the conference, then the Zach Bruns 1,000 point watch. Bruns came in 14 shy of the magical number. Here a shot no good, but it's tipped in by Granison. Then Suggs getting the steal for South Central and the basket. This game was tight from start to finish, never getting more than a couple of possessions apart. Here Edwards going to chase down a loose ball from Pharaoh Cooper in for the easy basket. Then Bowman, nice layup here in transition for the Rams. Pharaoh Cooper showing off his speed right there. Then Edwards, another steal and another basket. A lot of athleticism on the court here. And then Edwards, they hand him one. He takes it, and then Pharaoh Cooper showing why he's going to sign a letter of intent tomorrow to South Carolina. Tremendous athlete. Bruns in the lane, no good, but Mo and Bruns' family counting down to 1,000. Right here, Bruns gets 998, 999. He's one shy, but only 20 seconds to go in the game. He might not get the chance because South Central has the ball and a chance to take the lead. But Edwards loses the handle, and who else but Bruns comes up with it. They foul him, and he's going to get a chance at the magic number from the free throw line with 4.8 to go. And there it is, 1,000 points in his career for Mr. Zach Bruns. But the next free throw would make it a three-point game. So he makes it, and he's got 1,001. And Suggs trying to tie it at the buzzer, no good. Bruns has 1,001 points, and Havelock has the win, 62-59 over South Central. D.H. Conley down in Moorhead City taking on West Carteret. Coaches having a little chat before the game. Might be chatting about Nathan Winley, who was hot early. Three here. Then Winley again from the corner, knocks it down. Then the Vikings on the break, but the Patriots would steal it right here. And who else but Winley knocks it down. Eight nothing start for Winley against E.H. Conley, but the Vikings come back and win it in overtime, 56 to 51 in the girls game. Grant gonna knock one down from the corner to get the Patriots a little bit closer to the Vikings 10 point lead in the fourth quarter. Then Grant, nice pickpocket move here. Pierce finishes it off. And all of a sudden, this one's getting a little closer than D.H. Conley wants it. But Jessica McBeth, the rebound, the shot, and the foul. Then an errant pass. And Madison Maloney comes into your living room. Vikings end up winning at 43-31. to Wake Forest visiting North Carolina in Chapel Hill this evening. James Michael McAdoo on the break. Up and in and one. He had 20 points on the evening. And then Kinston's favorite son, Reggie Bullock. Going to come free at the top of the key, and the iron was kind right here. Shooters roll. Bullock had 23 points. First game ever where McAdoo and Bullock both had 20 points in a game. And how about one more from Reggie? And North Carolina cruises over Wake 82, 87 to 62. ACC first place undefeated Miami hosting Boston College tonight. And the Canes had no problem with the Eagles. They cruise. Final score in that one would be Miami 72, Boston College 50. A final check of your forecast with Skip after the break. You're watching News Channel 12 at 11.